Hi, how are you all? I was a bit away from my YouTube channel for a, quite a bit of time and I uh, was busy with a couple of uh, software, I mean freelance projects. I have been, okay, the main uh, purpose of this video is to explain uh, a particular package called cryptography which is available in Python. Uh, why I want to do this because I was uh, developing a web application in which I was in need of uh, uh, a procedure to to um, forget password. Okay, so yeah, I have login and logout uh, methods in my web application. Whenever the user forgets the password, then usually the We'll ask for the email and then we'll either mail them uh, a link for resetting a password or you, we can also just uh, hand over the raw information as it is as a password to their email ID. But the second alternative is not good. We always, it is always better to give them a link to renew the password. But for testing, uh, I think the second alternative is good. It, it, it gives us uh, a quick, uh, and so that we can save the time, that's it, nothing else. But the second alternative is always a wrong procedure. Uh, we cannot hand over the password to, straight away, send the password straight away to the email of the user. Rather, it is always better to give them a link. But in this video, I'm just going to show you a quick procedure to encrypt and decrypt. I was using a particular package called Passlib. Uh, I mean, uh, this only encrypts, but uh, as far as my knowledge is concerned, there is no method to decrypt. Uh, I may be wrong. There may be a procedure, there may be a strategy, but I was trying to figure out how to decrypt the information. But it was not possible for, maybe you can correct me. Uh, I figured it uh, out with the help of another package called cryptography. In cryptography, uh, we have a module called Fednet and this uh, this 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 module really very handy in figuring out uh, both encrypting and decrypting. The procedure is given here. Uh, I'm just going to do the same activity. Uh, there is nothing so special about uh, this video. I just would like to show you a very quick uh, uh, procedure to encrypt and decrypt uh, the message. In this case, the message is uh, a password. Okay. Watch me. Mm, import cryptography Fernet. Mm, I'm doing the same thing. Fernet import Fernet. There is a method called Fernet. So now key. So the, the procedure is all about uh, creating a key and then creating an object some object with the help of the key, Fernet object with that key and we should have our data in hand ready, readily so that we encrypt that data and also decrypt. So first I'm going to create the key. There is a procedure called, I mean a function called generate key. So this will generate the key. Now if you see you have some gibberish uh, I mean symbols, I mean the inf da data in that key. Key is an object. It is called user defined object or user object. Now we use this key to create a f uh, an object, another object called uh, Fernet object. So I just simply call F Fernet and key. So now we got this. Uh, we use this uh, F to encrypt as well as decrypt the uh, data. In this case, the data is password. Now message is equal to F encrypt. Uh, then uh, this is a raw information byte bitwise. So whenever we use this uh, B uh, in Python, it is actually. Let me show you. Uh, So this just, uh, I mean, whenever we use B before any raw string, it simply means that we are converting that into a byte string, something like that. Okay, uh, but anyway, that is out of the scope of this video. Now I can write password. Uh, 
then we got the message you see some ununderstandable collection of letters and numbers something like that the entirely gibberish okay now you have take red message where you can type that so this way what happens whenever the users hand over their passwords we can just uh, encrypt them and use i mean save them in the database uh, for security reasons so that nobody can hack our uh, i mean applications and uh, see the information and when, uh, whenever we would like to return the information to the user we can just uh, use this decrypt method and these methods are very um, user friendly very easy to cognize and understand uh, using cryptography but uh, passlib is uh, very stronger i mean it just encrypts but uh, uh, we don't have the procedures to decrypt uh, that is uh, i don't know maybe i'm wrong uh, like you can uh, there may be a procedure but i don't know i'm not aware of those procedures but uh, cryptography in my view cryptography is really the package cryptography is is is, is clearly uh, vivid and also developer friendly so that uh, during the during testing this package might be very much useful compared to passlib but for deployment i think uh, it is better to use passlib and uh, and our strategy should be something different okay thanks for watching this video this is for this video i just uh, felt a bit uh, jittering to explain this uh, particular learning of mine uh, with the community thanks again for watching this video